Hi guys, welcome to Food Find Fun. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different with this empty candy corn container. Uh, it was an interesting shape, which uh, really set my imagination going. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I did. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this. So the first thing I did, as you can see, is I removed the sticker. It did take me a bit of time because it was pretty stuck on there. And it didn't come off in one piece, which was frustrating. You know, cheap stickers, what do we expect? And so I ended up with... Uh, a lot of residue left over. So I removed that and then um, as you can see I tried to remove it with scissors that did not work and then I just tried to scrape it off with my nails but I don't have fingernails so well I have fingernails but <laughs> <laughs> anyway so I, I got it stuck on my fingernail though as you can see so I was just like all right we're gonna let this soak and wash it off and I did for quite some time. Now I'm painting the base of the container white because I need a nice plain fresh surface to work on the problem was though is plastic is extremely frustrating to paint acrylic paint on because since it's not like porous like wood or cloth or something it takes forever to dry so i had to wait quite a bit of time between coats like i don't know exactly the amount of time but i had to wait a while for it to dry on plastic and you know there's always the risk of like scratching it off and also if it doesn't dry completely then like you'll go to paint the second layer on and it'll remove the first layer which is also frustrating but yeah i'm just painting the base on this So here's me going in for another coat. At this point, I'd probably put two, maybe three coats on, and so this was like third or fourth. And so, you know, now we're getting a nice opacity. I'm not painting the inside of the container because I don't want to peel off the paint when I do to the inside what I'm going to do to it. And that would be hard because I will be using hot glue inside. So it would be annoying to paint in there. Um, so this, this did take many, <laughs> many layers to get the opacity that I wanted. Um, which meant a lot of drying time, etc, etc. And I wasn't going to put all of the filming of me painting coat after coat, because that's not exciting at all. So, yeah, this, this is just me painting. At this point, I brought in the lid, which I had to let soak in warm, soapy water for quite some time, and I'd scrub it off, and then I'd soak it again and scrub it off. And I'm just putting a base coat on it. So as you can see, painting in the, all those little ridges was kind of frustrating, and I didn't necessarily get even coating because there's like little crevices that you can't always get in there. So later on, I know when I was painting the next color on here that I did on those ridges, I was just like stabbing the brush onto the ridges and just like, get in there! So it's kind of a bit splotchy, but you know, it works and it looks okay when it's all said and done. But yeah, just painting more white. This, this took a long time, so <laughs> just lots and lots of layers of white. Gotta, gotta get it all done. So yep, that's, that's what I'm doing here. So here I've gotten out my gold paint and I'm starting to paint a gold rim on the edge of the container. And uh, this does take many, many layers because it's such a thin paint. So I would recommend finding a way to thicken it without turning it tan, which is what happens when you mix it with white. So yeah, I painted uh, a gold rim on that and the lid. I also painted this bottom edge rim thingy and I ended up painting those little bubble things. I'm not exactly sure what those are, but yeah, the little bubble flower thing. It is pretty sloppy, but I am going to be going over the rest of the container with a darker color, so it should be fine. So here I'm putting a gold rim on the lid, as I mentioned before, and getting down in those crevices with a smaller brush. And I do later just take the big brush to save time and just stab the paint in there. Um, I did go over in later coats with the smaller brush to try and even it out a bit, but it, it did end up a bit splotchy, but it turned out really nice and I, I still love it. So yeah, I'm just painting the gold rim on and oh, here I'm going in with black on the main container and this is the darker background color I was referring to. Off camera, I do end up painting the entire container besides the gold parts, so if you just see the container completely black, yeah, that, that happened off camera. <laughs> There's so much painting in this video, oh my goodness.
So here I'm painting black on the lid, you know, to make it nice and even and to make the whole thing match and setting up the background for my cool little design. As you can see here, I've layered up all the nice coats of paint and it looks real nice. Here I'm painting a nebula because I decided I was going to do this space themed. I'm not exactly sure how to paint a nebula, but I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. I was just kind of dabbing on paint with my big brush. I was using a light blue, a little bit of a darker blue, a pink and a purple, all in a nice pastel. So as you can see, I started adding them to the edges of the container, putting down my base colors, and then adding some on top, you know, just kind of dabbing the paint everywhere. And they turned out pretty well. I think they're nice little cotton candy nebulas floating out in space. Time to add the stars. I just kind of used my dotting tools and some white paint to sprinkle some different sizes of stars and a few like shiny pointy ones. How do you describe stars like that? Eh. Anyway, yeah, I just kind of sprinkled stars throughout the nebula and uh, made it look like space. So here I am going in with white paint on the main container, sprinkling stars on there as well. I just spread them out in the black space between the nebulas as well as adding them to the nebulas to make the space look spread throughout the entire thing, making it match. So obviously everything's not evenly spaced or anything, but space is not evenly spaced, so yeah, anyway. Along with the stars on the bottom of the container, I decided to put a little signature on there. Now this isn't my the same signature I used to sign like my drawings, but it was easy to paint on there and I also put 20 for 2020, you know, so I remember the date. So here I'm coming in with my trusty glue gun to poke some holes in the side of the plastic. I probably should have done this at the beginning before I painted, but it ended up working out okay. And I just poked some holes in before I put the gloss coat on. So here I am putting on the gloss coat as you saw from the bottle. And I only put one layer on this. It takes about as long on there to dry as it does for the paint, I think. I didn't time it, but... Yeah, so just expect normal drying times for the gloss on top of plastic, so it does turn out really nice and glossy and shiny and looks real good, so yeah. So now I'm coming in with the lid and glossing it over as well. So remember those holes we poked earlier? Yeah, that was for this ribbon that I tied through. I looked through the ribbon we had at home and this cream one looks kind of nice, so I chose it. I do trim off the excess ribbon a bit. I don't glue these down or anything. I might later on. I don't think I will though. They're pretty fine as they are. So yeah, I put a nice long strap so it can hang down as a bag. Now 
Now it's time to get interesting. So as you can see here, I've got some black paint that I'm gonna be gluing into the container as well as a container of white paint. Now these were just some containers that I cleaned out of some old dried up squishy paint that we had lying around. And I will probably add some more little containers of paint as time passes and we empty other little containers. The trimmed medicine cup I glued in the middle there as like you can fill it with water and wash your brushes off if you're painting on the go. And then on the top, I glued these little ribbon ring things. You can adjust the size. I had to adjust the size a bit, particularly on the pencil one because it kept fall falling out. Um, the top ribbon will be for a pencil sharpener. The middle one is for the pencil and the bottom one is for a little teeny tiny brush. So here I am putting the things where they belong in the container. And uh, yeah, I've, we have this little brush that I found in my room and I was like, oh, that's perfect. So as you can see, I'm gonna put the lid on and it looks awesome. It's great, a little art kit on the go. The pencil's trying to escape. That's why I had to tighten the ribbon later on off camera. But look at that, a little portable art kit in a stylish little bag. Here I am showing how you can wear it, just like an over the shoulder satchel bag clutch. Thing. Yeah, so you can carry your art supplies wherever you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what other art supplies I should try and fit in here besides more paint pots. Hope you guys enjoyed!